Alright. Hey, gu guess what game we're playing? Guess. I don't think you can tell from that. No, that's not very obvious, is it? Just looks like a bunch of symbols to me. We're playing Enter the Matrix. If you, if I just remember the buttons here, because, yeah, you know. Yep. If anyone remembers this game, <laughs> it's, um... Ooh. Yeah. Jump! Th this is an awesome... Oh, look at that reticule. Look at that. That's so bad. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you shoot those dead. assholes. You got two rounds left in that. That's right, that useless jump. Oh, my God. Anyway, Enter the <laughs> Matrix was a game released in 2003... Uh, a lot of people think it was made simply to cash in on the popularity of the Matrix franchise at the time, because uh, the second movie had just come out. Uh, but that's not true. This one actually expands quite well on the Matrix universe. It, uh... It pretty much explains what these guys were doing while, you know, the main characters were off doing other stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna sidle right here. That's some good sidling right there, Nairobi. <laughs> yeah, this is Nairobi. There, you can actually play as two characters in this game. Now, Roby and Ghost. Brother who, and sister. Yeah, they're brother and sister. And apparently Ghost... Uh, I I don't know how that all works. What the fuck? Save. Would you like to save? Yes. Simple question. We're playing this on the GameCube, by the way. This is the GameCube version. It's got two discs. Yeah, it's quaint. Because the GameCube had such small discs, it couldn't fit the whole game on one. <laughs> well, at least we're not doing Super Emulationception this time. Yeah, playing. What we do? We were playing Wii Virtual Console on the Wii that was being emulated on the Wii U. Yeah. We need help in here. We need help in God. God, I remember that. <laughs> and this is not as bad as Path of Neo. Damn it, drop this guy! Damn it, drop this guy! <laughs> yeah, Path of Neo was made as a cash in game, and that's why it sucked. It yeah, it was still fucking it. hilarious. Oh, it's yeah. still really fun, and the blooper reel at the end of the ah. game is priceless. Yeah, oh, true. yeah. Uh, this is like the best thing to do. I did this every time I played this level. I said, for Take some reason, <laughs> I kicked down all the doors. Because no one's ever heard of screws. <laughs> or hinges. Or, ugh. Yet the doors work. That's weird. How, how do you... I guess we only have hinges on those doors. What are you trying to do? Aren't you able to crouch or something so that you can, like, sneak? Um... I yeah, I don't know. No, I don't think you can crouch. You can you jump. Can... Need help in here. <laughs> <laughs> they can't see me. Beat him up. Oh, one of them has a gun. That guy. All right, your health is still one hundred percent, and you also get you also get a second meter there called focus, which is basically your matrix bullet time stuff. That's right. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Sweet Jesus! <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> He's like, hey, hey. Epic music! Yeah, I um, love the music. The music is great around. throughout the entire thing. Jump kick, yes! Oh. I love that move. And they just kick them while they're down. <laughs> oh, yeah! I always, I, when I played this, I always used, like, the Ooh. cheats. Oh! There's, like, a hacking mode where you can put cheats in, and it's, it's like you're hacking a computer. And I always give myself oh. unlimited focus and just play the whole level like that. Yeah, that's oh. one thing they didn't put in into uh, Path of Neo was unlimited focus mode. Yeah. Which was really needed because dicking around with focus is awesome. That's right, and if you're getting attacked by multiple people, you can like switch between targets like on the fly, just yeah. changing the angle of control stick. That's right. Man, this game. This game. I think I've got the PS2 version. Um, I've got a version. Yeah. No, I've got the GameCube one. I remember I've got two discs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They, all yeah. the versions were pretty much the same. Actually, they were the same. <laughs> yeah, but this is cool. It actually has live action cutscenes as well. Hopefully, you get to see some of them. Yes. Um, with the actors. Yeah, because they've got the actors Whoa. to film stuff for this, <laughs> specifically for this game. That's really well done. That's the yeah. thing, this game is actually... It was underrated, in my opinion, at the very least. I think because everyone wanted, like, the to play as Neo. Yeah. And they all went, Ghost and Nairobi, who the hell? Yeah, like, who are these people? We want to play as Neo. Well, they were just little side characters in Matrix Reloaded. Yeah, they had they were in, in Reloaded for, like, ten seconds. They had a slightly bigger role in... 
uh, the revolution third ones. Rep- yeah. yeah. Was it revolutions or revelations? Revolutions. 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 Okay. Yeah. It's been so long since I've seen those movies. They well, were pretty right, bad, yeah. really. Yeah. I mean, First the fights it. in Revolutions were okay, but the story, nah. Yeah, it was pretty dumb. They turned Neo into Jesus, and for some reason he was able to use his powers outside the Matrix. Well, no, and actually... And like, completely unexplained. No, I read a Wi-Fi. thing... Wi-Fi! No, 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 no. <laughs> I read a thing about that. Okay. This actually <laughs> makes this movie, that movie a lot cooler, if you think of it this way. Um, when, when Neo, like, wakes up from the Matrix... He's he's still in the Matrix. Everyone is still in the Matrix. Oh, it's a matrix exception. Exactly. So, like, the whole, what's it called, Zion? That's yeah. another layer of the Matrix. Yeah, but where's the evidence to support that that's actually truth? Or is None. it just, like, an it's idea? That's, that's an idea. And that if you think about it that way, it actually makes it a lot cooler. Admittedly, that is true. Stop getting me, you stupid. And, yeah, that's why Neo can use his stuff while he's supposedly in the real world. Mm-hmm. Is that... I don't think the one just has a Wi-Fi adapter. Yeah, that could be it, too. Just got a little antenna up his butt. <laughs> just beating up random postal <laughs> workers. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're ambushing a post office, because, you know, that's, yeah. that's how Niobe is. Is there supposed to be a cutscene at the start of this level? I think there is. Yeah, we, I think... We, we may have skipped it. Oops. Uh, whatever, it doesn't matter. We're in a post office. We're, um... We're going to a P.O. box, I think. That's right. If any of you have seen the flight of the Osiris, yeah, this is them picking up the disc that they drop in the mailbox, because it, uh, basically the agents and all the things in the Matrix are trying to make it so that um, the humans can't get a hold of it, so they're like sticking it in the horrible U.S. Postal Service so people can't get it. Security. Yeah, something like that. That's basically what it is. So they have to go into the post office and like start shooting like that. That's right. When I first played this game, I thought it was so cool. You can break the glass. Yeah, I've never seen. It was like such that. a new thing at the time. It was jump. Yeah, like I, I said, 2003. People, this game is 10 years old. God, that makes me feel so old. <laughs> I played this I, game when it was new. How do you change your weapon? Um, it's the D-pad, isn't it? No? Oh, that's right, I was like doing this. <laughs> yeah, walking around mode. Oh. Doing that with the chain gun was so good. Oh, yeah, yeah. There we go. That's with a C-stick, I think. <laughs> right, now let's actually do something. Do it. I used to know this level like the back of my head. I keep turning the wrong way, like almost as a rule at the moment. Oh, yeah! Owned. That's cool. It's context-sensitive fights as well. That's awesome. That's what made this game so fun. You could just, like, do anything. Would you like to see for progress? Yeah, why not? Why not? Why not? Epicenter. If this is a, the part of the level I think it is, I think I can sneak sneak up on some guy and do some damage. Do the silent takedown. Do the cool one. <laughs> oh, yeah, you gotta climb over the... Uh... Yeah. Climbing great. animations. That's great. Just sneak. Sneaking in I swear ideas. there's a way to duck or something in this. The music is so ill fitting. Yeah. It's a. Uh, there you go. Oh! oh Back snap. <laughs> Over here, by the sorter. That's right. By the sword, yeah, because there's only 10 million of them. <laughs> <laughs> that was always my favorite move with Nairo. Yeah. Round kick. Oh, he actually hit you. Oh, he was shooting in midair! He, he's Max Payne! I love the agent fights in this. <laughs> they oh yeah, cool. Because they would hand you your ass. Yeah, that's yeah. the thing. Because you're not... Because you're not Neo, you, you can't fight the agents. Like, you can use explosives, I think. That's one yeah. way to, like, incapacitate them, but you can't actually beat them. I believe even with <laughs> Neo, um... Just jump at them. Yeah. The thing, even with Neo, until you get his super moves, like, as the one, you can't really fight agents. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, that's true. They kick your ass. Hmm. Yeah, okay. see, there we go, the cutscene. Uh, yeah, that's a real great cutscene. Look at that, that anim... Yeah. 
10 years old, people. How did he not know that before? I don't know, he just wasn't paying attention. He was looking at the woman in the red dress. <laughs> Ha. That's right, this is when the, the cops are here and things get trickier because basically it got security guard, cop, SWAT, and then there's a few other specialist guys in SWAT. Mm, yeah. Like in terms of how hard the enemies are and how much damage they do. And, and then of course uh, Asian. Yeah. Oh man, something just fell on his head. <laughs> and I missed. Get your head back. Running here. out of focus. <laughs> forklift! I like how they actually break out the forklift and kick your ass. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Metro okay. fire! You're gonna be on fire in a moment! <laughs> uh huh. Okay. Some great water animation. Look at that. <laughs> Sprinklers! <laughs> it's like it, it's like they just put a gift there. Should also mention. But that's that, what they do. <laughs> that apart from also using the music in the movie, the actual original soundtrack that they made for this, is pretty damn good. Oh yeah. If you like, you know, the, the music that was in the Matrix. <laughs> that the aiming is weird. Yeah. There, there is no aiming. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> just ran past him and he tried to punch him. That's right, your focus kind of like recharges. And it recharges very quickly. Yeah. It recharges if you're in a fight. If you're just using it when you're like walking around normally, it doesn't. Oh, really? Yeah, see, like right now it's not recharging. It's there recharging now because you're engaging an enemy. Oh, that's badass. That's right, and you go. Whoop, 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 whoop. Nice. Basically, if I knew what I was doing better, I could actually do this properly. Yeah, we Gun faded away. We didn't really plan on playing this. We just nostalgia moment. Yeah, it's like, yeah. hey, remember that game? Enter the Matrix. Like, hey, I have that game. Ooh. Shit, tear gas. Yeah, so get up higher. <laughs> the cops are sealing the doors outside. Really toxic is just tear gas. Yeah, this is the cool thing about the, um, the story. It's like two things. It's two paths. Oh crap, how do you do this again? Shit, I remember this took me ages. Um... To work out what I was doing. <laughs> That's it. Wall run. Nice. Define the world. It's like Mirror's Edge before Mirror's Edge. Wow, that's actually a lot easier than the way I used to do that. <laughs> you can actually jump across and do all this weird shit. And yeah, you can like, kill everyone down there. I used to do that as well. You, you can stand in the tear gas. It just hurts you a little. Uh, more than a little. Oh, yeah, it depends. Kills, kills you pretty quickly, actually. Yeah. But I, I used to have infinite health. I used like to I do said, that I all the time. Yeah, I cheated. This was one of the few games that I actually went through the entire game into the right at least once. Well, that's what you're supposed to do. You beat the game once, and then you... Use all the cheats to fuck around. Yeah. And then you break it. <laughs> this game broke so easily. Like, I think there's one thing you can do where you give yourself, like, a katana, and it, that replaces your grab. Oh. But then in one of the levels, you have to use your grab to kill the enemies because you get, like, a wooden stake. And that's that's, that's right. your grab. And if you have the sword, you can't kill them. <laughs> it's impossible to win. That's right, you get trapped in the Merovingian's mansion. Yeah, the Merovingian, that's it. He's got those vampires. It's, um, Vlad and all those other guys. Yes. And you end up in Persephone's bedroom, but you never see her in the movie. Uh, in the game. Hmm. Don't you? No, you don't see her. I don't remember seeing her. You, she gets mentioned. Vlad walks in and says, Ah, oh, I see you're in Persephone's bedroom. <laughs> and then you start beating up all those mooks. Hmm. I bet dildos in there? No. No. Aww. I wish those four barrel guns were in there. <laughs> oh yeah, those that that's Yeah, a little derringer thing. And no one's supposed to see me when I'm up there. Just act invisible. I am a postal worker. 
Yeah, because postal workers totally wear weirdo looking trench coats. And do backflips. Yeah, of course. Jump. <laughs> yep, land before you hit the air, that's great. Yeah, that only happens if you um, focus. I always love doing it. Double punch. <laughs> this was actually a great tutorial level because it never really explained how to do anything, but all the enemy placements were designed so yeah. that you could... You had to, like, try stuff out. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Basically, it's actually decent game design, all things considered. Yeah, well, who's... Considering who's made by, it's... What, it's made by Shiny Games? Whatever yeah, that is. Shiny Entertainment. Yeah. I've done... Really? Published by Atari. Yeah, published by Atari. Everything's published by Atari back in that time. It's not that long ago. Yeah. Is the PlayStation 2 Actually, it is. Back. I mean, think about... When we thought of retro gaming back when we were in high school, and now this is retro gaming. Oh, it is too. Oh man, makes you feel old, huh? Old man. <laughs> Damn it! Yeah, kick back, forklift. <laughs> Punch him with a gun. <laughs> Gun punching! Yes. Uh, yeah, you want to be killing the conveyor belt. Yep. God, I love the airport level. Oh, that. Nairobi's and ghosts were really good, except for the car driving bit in ghosts. Oh, I hate the yeah, car driving mechanics in this game suck. What did you expect? Yeah, because if you're playing as ghost, you dr Oh, no, no, wait, wait, wait. If you, It's always if you're playing as one of them, you drive. If you're playing as the other, you're the gunner. So if you're the gunner, you're just kind of stuck there, shooting at the other cars until the level finishes. Ghost drives once. Yeah. He's the gunner usually, if memory serves, but he drives once, and that's in the airport level where you have to chase after the, the cargo jet. That's right. And then there's one level. You that's just right. have to go to the P.O. box. That's it. That's the tape left by the, the Osiris. Deadly Force. <laughs> the cool thing about a lot of these cutscenes is you can do pretty much everything that's shown. See, here's the thing. There's still glass in those windows. And why am I using tear gas if it's deadly? That gun was not mapped to his hand correctly. <laughs> it no. recoiled before his hand did. <laughs> and she just threw tear gas at dudes wearing gas masks. Yeah, not exactly effective. And, oh, okay, he's got a gas mask. That's some great muzzle flash. <laughs> Basically, just drains your house. So, yeah, pretty slow. Why, why she doesn't just take a gas mask off one of the guys she's killed, I don't know. Awesome. And add elevator. I, I, how to elevator? How to how to elevator? You just need to wait. Oh, you need you to have the head kill the, guy the elevator open. until it opens. Get out of the tear gas. Get out of it. There, it's open. Slow now. down. You need to kill all the guys before it'll open. It's 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 an elevator powered by game physics. For game logic. And now you're back on the first floor. Why you couldn't have just taken that elevator in the first place? No. And there's the lobby! Aren't SWAT guys supposed to follow the loot? You know, yeah! It's supposed to be a shootout. Yeah, oh, that's yeah, right, here go. we go. You're going to lockdown. I mean, it looks exactly like the lobby from the first Matrix. Yeah, that, you know what's going to happen. It's clearly what's what they're referencing. Whoops. And that map is actually accurate. That's it. That's right, because these guys have got SMGs and stuff. Yeah, here we go. How'd you do that? It is the D-pad. I just couldn't get it to work before. It wouldn't oh, actually let me. Oh, because you didn't have any... You only had one gun. Yeah, but you start with, like, a different gun than I Yeah, but you used up all the ammo. Once you use up the ammo, she throws away the gun. Um, and you 
need to pick up another one. MP5. Yeah. That's how old this game is. Yeah, MP5s are still in use today. It's just that most people <laughs> do want to switch up to the MP7. Man, this game's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. It's just, it's just the best parts of the Matrix movies. Mm. It's just the action scene. Yeah, I like Path of Neo, which has ant people. Yeah. What the hell? Ant people. Yeah, I guess the weird thing about Path of Neo is that it's a really good first Matrix, but then the other two movies, it kind of screws up. Hmm. Like, just because they add so much weird shit? Yeah. But they did add some weird shit in the first one, like that pursuit sequence, where you're getting the ghost train. The what? The ghost train. I don't remember that. Oh, um, after Smith punches you through a wall, uh, you get oh, stuck yeah. on some oh, weird I animal. actually like that. That was cool. It's kind of yeah. reminiscent of the Animatrix, the um, section with the haunted house. Oh, you know, yeah, where it's that like makes a glitch sense. Zone. It's like a glitch train. Yeah. It was actually kind of cool. Still well, nonsensical, but... Yeah. And... A distraction. Mm. Is there a part huh. of the building he didn't set on fire? That is just what I'm checking No. <laughs> Have I got an exit? Hey, hold on, I'm looking at your options. Okay. You're not gonna like it. Hit me. You're not gonna like it. Yeah. <laughs> on the second floor? That's the you're not gonna like it part. Just call me when you get there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's go to the second floor. <laughs> Look at the letter physics. That actually looks pretty decent. Yeah. Yeah, the... The incidental stuff in this gets a pass. Yeah, it's pretty well done. And now you basically have to play through the entire first part of the level again, only on fire. <laughs> Can you throw people into the fire? No. The fire oh. is just there for them. I think they learned to stay down. <laughs> yeah, to try and get up? No. Stomach okay. <laughs> cake. MP5 punch! Yep, because Matrix. Damn it. There are quite a few levels like this, I'm afraid, where you're actually just trying to find your way, like, through what should be a linear area, but it ends up being so confusing. Yeah, it's because of the design. Yeah. The, um, the underground of the airport reminds me of that. I found that so confusing. Yeah, if it weren't for like the waypoint that it gives you, it'd be impossible to figure out where to go in this game. I think that's why they added it. They probably thought, bugger it, let's just make it. This is where you have to go, beat up everyone on the way. Yeah. I, I guess in that regard, it's actually pretty poorly designed. There are parts of this game that are good and parts that aren't so good. Basically, like every game there is. Yeah, it's, it's just, this one's actually good to look at because it's pretty obvious what's good and it's pretty obvious. No. Yeah, true. She never makes a fist. Ever. It's always <laughs> open hand. She's yeah, like, which is actually pretty good. She's like, um, what's her face in, um, Dead or Alive? Oh, the wrestler? Nah, the blonde one. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Huh? Oh, you know? Yes. Which she is weird. Fists. Yeah, but like she's like, isn't she supposed to be like a cop or something? No. Oh no, wait, no, sorry. She's the head of Doa Tech. I'm thinking of something else. <laughs> yes, the intricate plot of Dead or Alive. <laughs> Booms. Yeah. Lots of them. With jiggle physics. Yeah. And now climbing. Those should be stairs, but stairs are too hard to program, so they're <laughs> ramps. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> hey, they're thinking of the wheelchair access. Thank you oh, very wheelchair. much. Yeah, because that would because you could get a wheelchair up there under your own power. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. I'm nodding my head right now. Breakout. 
<laughs> That's what this level is. Hey. Don't let him hit the alarm. There you go. <laughs> hey, this scare There's another guy. The There's another guy. Don't let them hit the alarm. There's another dude. You can actually hit the alarm yourself. <laughs> yeah, I know. I used to do that when I had it like unlimited health and all yeah, that. Yeah, then SWAT guys come in. Yeah, because you can steal a gun. <laughs> oh, that's true. At least it's not like in Deus Ex Human Revolution. Someone help! Someone, Someone help! help. <laughs> and then they press that weird palm print alarm. Which you can turn off for some reason. I don't get why you can turn it off. Because you're augmented. No, but do why does that have a function to turn off in that way? I don't know. See, it makes sense when you hack it to turn it off. Like, to actually toggle it on or off. <laughs> it's like hits them with their shins. <laughs> that camera control in this. What? There was no camera control. Yeah. You're actually getting shot a lot. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm breaking up the gun! Nice. One thing I was found um, focused really good for, finding out where bullets are coming from, because you can actually see them stream through the air. Yeah! Yeah, true. Okay, then. Back I up. did that so many times accidentally when I played this game. Yeah, it has no purpose. Why would you want to backflip and then face the same direction? You just end up facing a wall. Maybe if someone's chasing after you! Maybe... Oh, here we go. Oh, the N2FS pistol. Those are, those are the, almost the best ones. The agent ones, the, the Desert Eagles, the Black Desert Eagles, holy shit. Yeah, those are good. No, those are 92 FS. What? The guns you're using. Yeah, yeah. No, but no, just saying these are the they're the second best web pistols in the game. Oh yeah. Other than the agent handgun. Mm. Because those things are basically hey, hand cannons. The yeah, the deagle. The they gave them a great sound as well. It's not exactly the de the deagle right. sound. Hang it's on like on a you. deeper boom. Just oh. a sec. Here we go. Now, when I say go. I want you to run for that big window in front of you and jump through it. Trust me, this is gonna be fine, I think. Ready? Go! <laughs> <laughs> this is actually pretty well animated. Yeah. Except she doesn't ever. Oh no, okay, she jumps off the desk. Okay. Works. These guys can't aim. <laughs> And she has no shoulder. Let's get going. I think those sirens are for us. Nice car. Yeah. <laughs> get over. She's driving. Crap! That means I need to drive. <laughs> uh, uh, I think we're gonna call it. Call it there. Wait, no. Get to the hard line. Get to the we're oh. gonna get out, man. All right, we'll all right. Out. We'll get out. We'll get out. If we don't, you know, Neo can't win and be Jeebus. Okay, <laughs> okay. Fine. You want to drive? Or drive. fight Monster Mega Smith. Just don't drive in first person. For the love of God. Yeah. Shit. Shit. Z. GTA, motherfuckers. That's right. There you go. Driving in third person. Much better. That's a Pontiac Firebird, by the way. Which is so awesome. They had a good taste in cars. Yeah. Yeah, the Wachowski brothers do cars well. Look at that! That's some good crash physics. <laughs> but which I mean, there are none. Hey, at least you can't break the speed of light if you drive in reverse. Oh, God. Ne next time on the Leaping Assassins, big rigs over the road <laughs> racing. <laughs> You're a winner! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. No, we're never gonna play that. Oh, uh, there's a button to hold down to make Ghost lean out. I think it's X. Not X, it's Y. Y, there you go. Yeah. That just makes hey, sense. Hey, Ghost, get out and shoot people! Right. Kick ass music down. Just leans out of the window with an MP5 with unlimited ammo. <laughs> you missed a turn! Oh man, that car is smoking. Okay, this isn't good music. Oh, jeez. That's okay, it like auto corrects. 
think. Yeah, there it's you go. It's Need for <laughs> Speed! Except all the textures are just wrong somehow. And the dr <laughs> and the draw distance is two feet. I love it. This is awesome! Look at that. Look in the distance. It's black. And there you go. Now there's a bridge. Yeah, it's a draw distance. Every old game had that. Well, every new game has it, but it's Yeah, but better. the new games, they try to hide it. Yeah. You think, uh... What's the name of the guy? Oh. What's the name of your operator in this? I can't remember. It's, it's not Cypher. No, that's, no, no, that's, no, that no. was one of the guys that never. never. Uh, I forgot. I need to look up the soundtrack for this one. Holy shit. Oh, no. Yeah, this has some good soundtrack. Oh, yeah, now you just need to survive for two minutes. Great. And this is before no. this. You can't get through, you have to survive for two minutes. Because the bridge is up. Okay? That's right, I used to just go up this road and back because they just follow you. Yeah. I used to get so lost. There's no map. This is it. All you get is that arrow at the top. Yeah. That's the only way to find a way around. Last chance to surrender. You're shooting at me. I don't think it matters. Yeah. Well, the cool thing, though, is that other than the health bar, you can tell how much health you have left by the damage on the car. Yeah. It does get more damage on that, but it's fixed. It's not done. Yes, yeah, it's, it's not. not dynamic. In this case, it's actually good. That's right, the... You have to wait for the lights to go through. Yeah. That's how you tell. Two minutes. That's how long you are told to wait. Yeah, but there's no timer, that's the only way to tell. Yeah. Kind of makes sense, there's no timer anymore. But it's other, like le would get other levels do have timers. That's true. I don't... It's not very consistent. It's like that mission in Metroid Prime 3 where... You have to stop the incoming asteroid thing. Yeah. And you'd think there's unlimited time, but no, if you just dick around for too long, you die! Yep. Yeah, you have to rush or yeah. you get home. Metro Prime, that's a good thing. You, you, you want to do a Let's Play Metroid Prime, don't you? I do. You I should. Love that series. Alright, yeah. lights are green. No, nope. is it one is still red? Last one. Usually I just sit here. <laughs> Might as well. Whoa, whoa. Random <laughs> taxi nudging you. There we go. See, oh, okay, they tell you when it's clear. That's cool. Now you just drive along a bridge for a reasonably long time. I don't get this part. It's a big bridge. Big bridge. Big bridge. We've been playing for 30 minutes. This game is so cool. <laughs> Don't screw it. We're not, we're not doing episodes. This is one long episode. It's going to be four hours long. We'll play the whole game. <laughs> whole game. We can't play the whole game. Whole game. <sighs> okay. We've got okay. my hard drive hooked up to the to the capture box. We can record for like five hours. No, it's like fifty-seven hours. No problems. Fifty-seven hours like of this. this. Yes. Dude. No breaks. Wait. Once we've done That's this, right. we're, we're gonna play through it again on the hard drive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I guess, like I mean. Oh, look at his hair. Hair. Oh, it sparks. That That's it. it. Look, he's got like chunks of head. <laughs> 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 Seriously, they couldn't hit him. Oh yes, God. it's an agent. The Anderson or Johnson or something. Yeah, I think it's the ones in this one are Johnson and Thompson. I think they are. Yeah, uh, Johnson and Thompson, and uh, White would have been around by now. Maybe Good. White's the advanced one, isn't he? The more advanced one that Neil fights on top of the truck. Um, no, no, White no, doesn't they... show up in Reloaded. No, no, no he d he never. He never shows up in the movies, but once Smith, uh, tur well, once Smith like died, exploded, whatever. Yeah. It was released. Um, White was his replacement. Oh, really? Yeah, uh, he shows up in uh, Parthenia. I'm trying to think of what he looks like. I think that might have been in the Matrix Online. Yeah, probably. Well, I never played that. How was that? No idea. It was supposed to be pretty good, but they shut down the servers recently, so that's it. Uh, it's over. Well, I think the storyline sort of died off. 
Well, yeah, they, 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 they kind of finished it. Yeah. yeah. And in fact, that's what they did. They went out of their way to finish the story before they showed down there. Which is cool. <laughs> yeah. What was with the blood spray? It got her in the mouth. Nose or something. Maybe it, got right. the, maybe it got her in the hair. That this hair is your is first fat. encounter with an agent. <laughs> yep. And it's actually kind of horrible because if you try and fight him, he will just... You, you die. Oh, yeah. Mm. I, you can drop him off the building. <laughs> yes. There is a way to do that. That's the only way to slow him down. And yeah, because that doesn't stop him. He'll come back. Throw him off a, a, ten, a ten meter drop. He'll live. It's nothing. You really have to use your focus wisely because there's a few instances where you actually end up coming up right next to him because he pops out a door. Yeah, because he, let's not forget, it's an agent. He can basically teleport as long as there's people around. That's why you kill all the people! I love the concept of agents. They're just cool. This entire level, I think, was designed to kind of evoke bits of the movie specifically. I, yeah, this is, this is taking... Um, Trinity's run yeah, from, from the, the opening of the first movie. Crap. You have to really move fast because he catches up with you at the start agent. Yeah, if he catches you, you're... you. You can fight him, like, in focus. You can't hurt him, though. All you can do is... Oh, did you fall? Shit. You fell. You're dead. Oh. Dead. Dead, dead, dead. You fell two feet. You're dead. <laughs> you fall two feet. Would you like to jack back in? That sounds like fun. <laughs> Excuse me while I... <laughs> that wasn't literal. What are you doing? We have, we have like a big-ass XLR cable around here. We could use that to jack into the Matrix. Yeah! At least the audio. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So you, you could talk to people, but you couldn't actually do anything. So else. basically, you can mess with people's heads. Yeah. Yeah, when, when you get that voice in your head... Crazy people get that voices. That's us jacking in with XLR cables. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. I remembered one of my favorite tricks now. What's that? Uh, cheapen out the matrix jump. Yeah, yeah, we know. Oh, like what you... when you do the jump and then cut off focus halfway through. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That that's works. really handy. Oh, I'm you went the wrong way. way. <laughs> little step. Do the little step. There you go. Handy for being a bit quicker. Yep. More for your benefit than actually, you know, tactical benefit, but. Whatever, whatever. It looks cool though. Whee! Changing direction of the jump. Yeah, there he is. He just morphed into like a oh, utility like a... worker. Hmm. I've always wondered what happens when they change to another person. What happens to the dude they were morphed into last? Uh, they just. Wake up and sort of think, what the hell just happened? Yeah, that's actually what happens. Really? Yeah. It happens. It, seriously, it happens. You see? Yeah. It? I remember, I think it might have been in Half of Neo, actually. You see an agent revert back to a dude, and the dude's just, where the hell am I? Yeah, and then goes on about his day. I think it was a SWAT guy. That's He's right! He's like, what the hell? Oh, okay, I'll just keep going this way with my gun. I just love the idea of the agents. Oh, yep, there oh you can jump across there and fight it. I know, I've done it before. And if you, it's really hard to do, but if you can do a throw on him, that's how you knock him off. Yes. Or you just keep punching him, and he just keeps walking backwards and falls <laughs> off. Yeah. But it really doesn't do much because he just comes back. He takes another body. Or super jumps, whatever. <laughs> da da da. That's the classic <laughs> Matrix sound cue right there. And they made him truly terrifying in this game, though, which is good. What, is it, what the hell? What? what? What the hell happened? And you died! Are you kidding? What the fuck? What the hell? What? What was that? <laughs> I, th I think that was a glitch in the Matrix. <laughs> I think there was a glitch. Son and of it a killed bitch. us. And now we gotta do the whole level over. Nah. That well, sucks. Okay, yeah, okay. That's right, this game is actually rather difficult, especially the last few levels. They start to get rather brutal. Yeah, they really do. Nintendo hard. <laughs> the best kind of hard. Running, 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 running across the rooftops. We've been playing for 40 <clears throat> minutes, what the hell? <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah skip the cutscene. <laughs> this is what happens when we get into an old game. Nostalgia trip. Nostalgia trip. Come on, up the ladder. Uh, what else can we talk about in terms of the Matrix? Um, the Animatrix. Yeah, that was pretty good. How oh, yeah. awesome it is. I like the Animatrix. I don't think there's any story that I didn't like. Um, I think there's a few that are completely superfluous. Yeah, some of them are kind of not much point, but they are all pretty good. I didn't like the like the history one, one where it talks about how the Matrix was created and stuff. I thought that was the only one that actually was worth watching. And no, it it was. Yeah, it explains I, a lot. That yeah, no, it does. I like that, but uh, it shouldn't exist. Hmm? That was cool. Oh, yeah, the... yeah. It shouldn't exist because like it's it's in the Zion archives. That's how it open. It opens mm. saying this is the Zion archives and this is how this is all happened. Like no, but they don't know how it happened. But that's, that's what the machines were telling them. What? It's a machine trick. Like you know how Zion's been repeating several times. Oh, so it's like an older Zion. Could be. Oh. No, no, no. What it would have been is the machines would have set it up so they found this archive, and they think it's the real thing, so they think they're the first Zion. Oh, okay. Oh, that's it. I never thought of that. Okay. Hmm. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, because the machines are going all sorts of things to convince them that they're the only Zion. Yeah, yeah. When in fact, there are many Zions. There you go, made it. Whee! I don't know what happened last time, but there you go. Yeah, lo that was weird. Like, it went black and then... You just fell. Yeah. Kick the door open. Grab the phone. Hey, oh! Yep, that's how it happens. And then you disappear. You okay? There you go. Live action cutscene. John, Dr. Feelgood can fix you up. Right now, all I want to know is what's on that disc. You Dr. Feelgood? <laughs> so, we just received an emergency. Yeah, I don't get this. The they got the disc yeah, from the Matrix, the last and yet they can somehow broadcast that into the real world. The Osiris. It is 1803 on 1214, and I fear this will be our last transmission. Less than two hours ago, we were pinned between two search units near BZ-218. That's a cool name, that is. Surface when our yeah, went uh, it's, it's all very concerned. biblical we didn't in the Matrix. Our equipment was telling us. The yeah, Nebuchadnezzar, the middle of it. one. Mm -hmm. and Zion, obviously. It's massive. Hundreds of times the size of anything we fought. We are under heavy pursuit oh, and have sustained shit. critical damage. We are going to attempt an emergency right, yeah. broadcast drop in the Matrix. D that, Squids. My god, I'm a dickwad throughout all the movies I'm in. Why would the machines design their war vessels as squid things? What benefit does that have? Because they have lots of manipulator arms. Okay. Sure. Why not just have floating guns? Why not do that? They don't seem to use guns, they use lasers. Yeah. They couldn't just mount more yeah, lasers. Yeah, remember that their AI in, in the historical ones at the start, um, the Second Renaissance, they kind of show that they have their own culture and stuff. It's more than just yeah, true. they have their own way of doing things. It's not just we are robots, we are practical. Yeah, fair. Yeah, true, true. Because the idea is yeah, they're yeah, made yeah. by humans. They're just as fucking easy. They, they were made in made by humans in in their image. So it's. Yeah, yeah, I guess you have to think of them as a different species. As careful as I can. More than machines. Also, best crossover ever. The same song used in the final battle scene as the second renaissance is used in Snatch. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, used in cool. the movie Snatch. Cool Super Moves by Overseer. It's a good one. That's why we're going to use the airport. All those different pay phones will make a trace impossible. We can split up... Oh, the airport! The airport! Oh shit! Yeah. What could go wrong? We'll find out on the next episode. Cause this has gone on for way too long. Goodbye. Yeah. See ya. What? Well, once the cutscene's over. Yeah. Yeah. Damn it. Phones <laughs> everywhere. Phone. Phone has no cable. Nairobi phone home. 
I am calling to confirm that the Daniel Institute of Dream Interpretation. This is the Great Beyond Travel Agency. We will get back to you as soon as Cold humanly words. possible. I am calling to confirm that Good your order of red will be delivered tomorrow by midnight. Operator. Jax. Niobe, is that you? I'm not sure I can talk right now, Jax. Niobe, listen to me. They got Axel. Soren let everybody in Africa. Cops everywhere. Where? Tell us Niobe, not Niobe. We're at the airport. Please, you gotta help us. Yeah, Niobe. Agents have cornered Soren. They're moving Axel to the tarmac. If they get him in the air, Axel. I'll have to pull the plug. That's right. They're saving the dude. Yes. They're actually just here to make the make phone calls to call everyone in, but then they have to get caught up in all this. Yeah, and, they, and you end up having to save Axel. That's right. Yeah. And you get stuck on a plane fighting an agent. Yeah. So you end up on a plane with him. That's well, if, cool. If you're Niobe, you're on the plane. If you're Ghost, you're chasing the plane or something like that. Yeah. Uh, if you're Nairobi, Niobe, I'm getting my countries and people. <laughs> uh, oh my God! Did you see that? The button it like has a has a cable coming yeah, out, yeah. but it's like only a little bit, a little bit of cable. Then there's nothing. <laughs> it's just stuck there. No. Oh my! God. This game's awesome. Yeah. I oh. think we're gonna be playing more of this. Yay! Okay. Goodbye. See ya. See ya. There's the thing. There's the thing. Okay. Stopping. Stopping it. I'm gonna cut this bit out. Yeah. See, wait. What? Checking this. Okay. Goodbye.